Shadow Run, Hong Kong. All right. Let's put all our so fucking big ones. Let's see. How's this gonna work? Nope, it's not gonna work like that. Oops. Scale the window. This screen should be this one. There we go. All right. So now I can see everything really well. Let's jump in here. All right. All right. Um, I did what I could when it comes to the menu. I've since I mean I played Shadowrun um, Returns, and the menu was a little bit different probably. So I'm gonna have to most likely adjust while I'm streaming. So I do apologize about that. All right, let's take a look at the options real quick. All right. Uh, I'm playing on 2560 perspective. I'm cool with that. Camera mode is free. High scale res mode, perfect. Uh, anti alias, no, no, what the fuck that means. Post processing, extra board on you. Let's put the music value a little bit lower. If you guys think it's too low, I'll go ahead and raise it. It's all cool. All right, that's part of that. All right, game difficulty normal. It's already a pain in the ass on the other one. Language. Oh, that's it, English? Okay, well. I think that's cool. Alright. Start a new game. Alright. So the year is 2054. The promise of opportunity and amenity draws you to the free city of Berlin, the Flux State. A grand experiment in the social order. Alright. Oh, please. There we go. Gotta do this real quick. Sorry, guys. Alright. There we go. All right. The Flux State, a grand experiment in social order corporation, thread carefully here. Even the great dragon, Lof Weir, only has to so much to sway in the consistently evolving power structure of Berlin. The perfect place for a savvy Shadowrun to disappear and begin anew, if only it were that simple. Ooh. All right, let's launch more campaign. Um, let's see here. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's go with normal and confirm. Alright, oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta create my guy. Alright. Let's go with male. I'm pretty partial for it. Humans, elves, dwarves, orcs, trolls. I mean, I always play as a human. I like playing as a human. Um, not that I don't like the elves. I mean, in terms of stats, humans are more balanced. Uh, Elvis seems to be the, the shit to go with, actually. Oh! The dwarves are pretty strong, too. Very intelligent. Orcs have 14, so they, they're tanks, pretty much. And then we have the trolls, which are pretty dumb, I guess. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go with... Um, Let's go with an elf. A street samurai. Oh wait, no, I like um I'm cool with uh, building a character. I really don't mind with the rest of the stuff. Alright. Oh, these are some ugly ass okay. Oh, Rico Suave over here. Fucking Rico. Oh, is that fucking Varys from fucking Game of Thrones? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That's a random. Ooh. Give me fucking Darth Sidious over here. Is that what you look like, buddy? Yeah, you definitely need a... You look like a neo-Nazi. We're gonna go... Let's go the other way. I think this guy's pretty cool. All that shit in his nose, though. I might go with Rico Suave. Or this guy right here. This guy looks like a real bro. Uh, hair style. Okay, you can't pick anything? Alright. Oh, it's crazy. You can't really change anything. I wish you could. Karma represents the experience. Alright, cool. That's fine. Uh, I got 60, right? 
I like to start with a little bit on the on the heavy body side. Um, let's go with some ranged combat. Range combat. Shotguns are the way to go. Um, SMGs maybe, and a rifle, sure. All right, what do we go next? Uh, strength. Uh, not much for the close combat or weapon throwing. But this, you think, other than how far can they get me down? Chance to hit mid late or do I want? Uh, you know what? Let's put this down actually. Not too fond of that anyway. It's cool though. Alright, so in terms of decking. Oh, let's go to the charisma. I like charisma. Uh, social light. Choosing a gift from the list of the does not cause karma. I need you to go. Hmm. I like social light. I like being kind of stuck up. Oh, I know early on we get... Uh, okay. Because sometimes they give you a drone in the, f in the beginning. Maybe it was just for like, oh, dodge. I think that's cool. Let's see where we go from there. Oh, because I already have my... Let's see. Alright. Let's try with... So I have this already paid. Alright. Let's go with corporate. Let's go Regan. Yeah. Press R to reload your weapon. Alright, the Harm the Harfeld Manor run. Life was good, easy jobs, regular pay, reliable crew, but things went south and you had to drop off the grid. Put a bullet in the past and start fresh anew somewhere. Somewhere new. The promise of opportunity and amenity draws you to the free city of Berlin, the flux state. A grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon Lofweir, Lof I don't know how to pronounce that, only has so much sway in the constantly evolving power structure of Berlin. The perfect place for a savvy shadowrunner to disappear and begin anew. And as luck would have it, home to your old partner in crime, Monica Schaefer. Schaefer. It's your third run with Monica and her team on old on an old castle hold fast one hour east of Berlin perched on a hill overlooking the countryside. The job is standard, smash and grab, check the vault, grab the data, get out in one piece. A mediocre payday, but work is work. As the team gathers for Monica's pre-run briefing, you pause to take in your surroundings. Alright, let's go for it. Alright, uh, so far so good. Just want to make sure that, you know, you guys are able to see everything perfectly on... You know, the camera's not blocking anything important, so... And welcome, welcome viewer. Appreciate you tuning in. Doing some shadow run. The estate grounds are silent, save for the faint whistling of the wind. Your team gathers near your side entrance to the old castle. Hold fast, cloaked in darkness. The night is peaceful. You know it won't last. You know it for what it is. A pleasant illusion that was shattered at the sound of the first gunshot. Listen up, folks. Monica Schaefer. You ran with her back in the day. Now she's your team leader. Your decking skills may be sharp, but hers are Nova hot. Running with Monica is like taking a master class in icy breaking. We're on a tight timetable. I want to enter the estates, find the basement, open the data vault, extract the files, and bolt. Ten minutes, top to bottom. Trying to get home in time for worm talk, love? Dietrich, shaman, the old man of the team. He smiles at her, his facial attitude breathing in the moonlight. Maybe. How many times have I told you you can't trust anything that comes out of a dragon's mouth? That trid trash will rot your brain. Yes, it will. She grins. It's, just edu it's educational. Besides... This should be a milk run. Security is supposed to be light, a few automatic weapons, no armor, with a little luck, they'll never know we were here. In my experience, there's no such thing as a milk run. 
words of wisdom from our new addition. I agree with Regan. Glory, Razor, Claude, Street Samurai. Her voice is cold and neutral. Expression placid. I feel like, like my character is going to hit that. They may only be private security, but the bullets will know that. I can patch you up if I have to, but I'd rather not have to. You people need to relax. We're professionals, remember? Yeah, we sure are. Monica raises her arms, speaks into her wrist mounted calm link. <coughs> A darkened face shimmers on the view screen. Eager, are you in position? <coughs> oh, man. The calm link crackles, and the response comes back low and soft, softer than you expect from a troll. Affirmative, the alarm lines have been cut, and I have clear line of fire on the estate's service entrance. When you exit the building, the path will be cleared. That's a pretty badass fucking elf, man. Excellent. Thank you, Anger. Just doing my job. Anger out. And it's cool, man. Like, seeing... When I saw the movie Bright, it it, it just... This game, it it's like I got a live-action shadow run. I was super happy with that film, man. Ugh. The comlink goes dark. Monica winks at you as she drops her arm. See, we're professionals. All right, people. Enough chatter. Our client wants the data from the vault, so we get him the data from the vault. Quick, quiet, and quick. You said quick twice. <laughs> she grins. Worm talk is on tonight. Glory raised her eyebrows slightly. I told you. It's educational. All right. So they make you uh, get a little whiff of the team there. Uh, you gear and some weapons on the back. Grab a weapon. Let's go with a shotgun. Grab the rest of your kit. Perfect. Sawed off banani, basic med kit, and a frag. Okay, cool. Leave the van. Mm. Alright. One second, guys. Sorry. Just want to check something. Alright. Where are you? Okay, perfect. There we go. Sorry about that. Back to the darkness. Alright, so uh, you see they give you a drone. Uh, let's, get, let's get a walk in. Sometimes you could find some goodies on here. Just checking out. pretty cool it's a big fucking house let's take a look at the sides too I always like to make sure you know you gotta check everything around here All right, that's pretty cool it's a big fucking place alright well oh, this music reminds me so much of the Nintendo version <laughs> man I really love the the city crafted a shadow run I might actually try to read the books I wanna get to know a little bit more about the the world alright here we go Oh, it's like a museum. A private museum. The owner of the city wants have money to burn. Let's see what it, a variety of remarkably well-preserved Slavic artifacts. Inspect the complete skeleton of a theropod dinosaur. It appears to be genuine. All right, let me take a look at this part here. I mean, it looks nice, man. Let's zoom in on this shit. The vase in this case looks both very old and very valuable. Fine scrollwork of lapis and gold leaf decorated its exteriors, and the interior shimmers with the beauty, the organic beauty of abalone shell. Your fixer could probably move this thing in a heartbeat. You can't help but know that the glass encasing it looks awfully frimsy. Maybe I'll come back for you later. Yeah, I'm not gonna... You gotta, you gotta stick to the job, man. Hey, Shadow Run. You gotta get paid. Shit. Alright. Looks pretty good. So far. Right, there's a couple doors. There's a couple doors open. Right, let's go through here. And that sucks. I knew it. You are now in turn based combat mode. Each character on the team has an action pod. Alright, I already know. Alright, so. Uh, they got pretty good cover. Let's go in here. It's funny, the, my character, even though mine was a human back then, looks so similar to this one. Oh, shit. What's here? This looks nice and clean. Nice and clean. I like it. Uh, boom. Oh. 
Oh yeah, even the sound is a little better. Let's uh let's get rid of this chick here. Alright. Oof. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Oh shit. Oh my god, 22. Holy shit. Okay, um, this will get interesting really quickly now. You gotta be really careful. I didn't notice how many of them were there. Alright, single fire. Alright, kneecap does one AP, but reduces HP damage by six. Uh, reduces accuracy. Keep one check and hit adjacent target. Alright, let's try. I knew it was gonna miss too. Let's do this. Yeah. I don't think she could reach, but yeah, she can't reach. Where's um Oh, there it is. Overwatch. What? Oh shit, that's an interesting change. Oh shit, this is gonna be a little bit harder than, than previous. I gotta be super careful here. I mean, either way, they gotta lock on me. Oof. Oh shit. Oh fuck, that's not good. Okay. Oof. I kind of lucked out. Oh, really? Nah. I only get two, huh? Well, let's see what happens. Shit. I got a healer. It's not gonna get good. What she have now? She's down. Oh, I like this. It look, I like the feel of it now. Let's take a look. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit just so we can see what I'm dealing with here. All right. So. Um, I could. There it is. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be tough. And I gotta be kinda careful. Um, so he's ducking, so that's interesting. This guy's probably hit. Yeah, makes sense. Oof. Oh! Oh, fuck this idiot. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I didn't pay attention to that. It's my bad. Might as well heal his ass. Stupid ass. Oof. See if I can defend our guy here. There we go. Man, eh, two damage. It'll work out. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot the guy's behind us. Oof. Wait, is this bitch? Is this bitch on my? No, she's not on my side. She's fucking doing some. Oh. You little shit. I mean, who's more dangerous? The guy with a shotgun, right? You would think. There we go. Let's 
go with this. That's some burst damage. Ooh, there we go. Oh, oh, I took her out. Holy shit. Alright, I guess that works too. I know there's a guy behind me, but... Mm-hmm. Guy keeps killing my robot. Oh! That's gonna cost me. I mean, I could come around this way, yeah. I could probably take my guys, like, around, trying to just give them, get a nice little pincer movement going. And then this guy's gonna have to be baited. Because right now I'm kind of finding a weird... Oh shit, this guy heals. That's perfect. The fucking old man. God damn, four only, old man? Come on, bro. Let's, let's fucking get it together, right? Idiot. No, you can't even do that. What else you got in here? You got shit, old man. Oh, boy. I'm gonna put you back here. Sometimes the magic... I mean, the magic users are historically just really bad when it comes to health, but... God damn, bro. Oof. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Alright, let's go back here. There we go. Oof. Oh, really? Alright, let's... There we go. Eh, you got a lot of trouble, buddy. Let's put you back here. I don't think he'll be able to hit you. Alright. Oh man, I forgot you can't do that anymore. Alright, end. Hmm, <laughs> this guy's cornered. Alright, that's cool. I think this guy could get him. There it is. There it is. What the fuck is this door then? I'm probably, watch, I'm probably gonna have to come through here next time and we're gonna have to deal with fucking bad guys again. Oh, there we go. Terminal. Security alert response plan, Quebec 6. Another year, right, girl? All right. Security alert response, Quebec 6. Matrix operations locked. HTR team responding. Oh, man, I don't have that game. Monica, you think you can crack this? The corner of her mouth lifts into a smirk. Step aside. Oh, Enrique, I've got to ask. Is the display on your trid flashing 12 o'clock back at home? Monica doesn't even bother jacking into the terminal and her cyber deck remains slung over her shoulder. Her fingers flicker over the terminal's virtual keyboard and a moment later a happy ch chime chips chirps out of the security nodes. Bingo, doors open. Let's go. Alright. So I guess that works. So what the hell is this? Ooh. Yeah, I knew it. So I'd like the decker to Jack in. That'll be you, girl. Oh, I like that. Uh, you can pick the character. Alright, let's jack this baby in. Still pretty like the last game. Nothing nothing crazy. Let's, uh... Oh, shit. They really bring, they brought out the, the big stuff. Hmm. Hopefully I can get the rhythm. Ooh, the rhythm of their attacks down again because yeah, this doesn't look good. Execute assassin. 
Yakuza and says an expert po well, no fucking shit. Okay, good. There we go. Alright. This poor girl. Fucking fucked her up already. Oh no, she's healed. That's fantastic. I thought she got hit more. Alright. Oh, come on. Let's bring him around. Let's see what's up. What else is going on back here? And there it is. There it is. Ooh, get down. Let's see if I can reach. Nope, of course not. There we go. Go check out that data store. Antiquities delivery schedule. Okay. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go. Oh, let's end that turn. Let's go. There's nothing else left in this place. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's uh. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh, those are, those are my guys. Sorry. Too fucking big for this. Alright, let's go back. Let's transition to new areas. The Heartfelt Manor run. So far, so good. If your skirmish or security set off any alarms, you don't hear them. Monica leads the rest of the team downward onto the basement of the Heartfelt Manor. Your payday is waiting. The data vault lies ahead. Alright. Diedrich eyes the door, then turns to Monica. That's a big freaking vault, the chin. Bigger than, w than on the schematic. The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have an old intel. Still, our instructions were clear. The data we're looking for should be just on the opposite side of the door. Monica combs through her hair, parting it to reveal the, the black plastic sheath on her data jack. A quick jump to the make sure the little digital hallway, and I'll have this thing wide open. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speaker on Monica's comm link. Eager stay still in position outside the estate. Hold on, Monica. Who's in charge while you're jacked in? Monica rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes a stare intently on the vault door. Glory looks cold and distant, just as she always does. We've been through this before, Iger. You're not in the KSK anymore, and that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. We don't need rules and regulations to guide us. The same principles that apply to the flux state? Please spare me the lecture. Your politics have nothing to do with this. Best get used to it, eager love. She signs. Look, it's a simple question. She just to tell me that it needs an answer. Eager's right, Monica. We should you sh we should have a second in command just in case. I agree with Dietrich. If someone needs to take charge, it'll happen. We don't have time for this, Eager. We have a job to do. Oh boy. Eager's right, Monica. We just need we should have a second in command. I agree with Dietrich. If someone needs to take charge, it'll happen. That may, that may be how your mystical flux state works, but in the field, that kind of thing gets you killed. Come on, Monica, put someone in turn. Let's get on with this mission. Monica stares at the screen on her wrist for a moment, clearly irritated, and then that twinkle appears in her eye again. She smiles and she speaks into her comp link. Very well. We'll do this one Eager's way. While I'm jacked in, Regan is in charge. There's a pause. Then Eager's voice carries out the comp. Regan, did I hear you right? You're putting the rookie in command? I'm no rookie, Iger. You know it. I thought you were a pro, Iger. Questioning order in front of the team is an executive pro move, is it? Listen, Iger, you asked for a decision, you got one. This is ridiculous. I know this is a joke to you, Monica, but I'm telling you. Iger, <laughs> eager. Monica's tone all, is all business. Evidently, she has heard enough. The decision is made. You have your answer. Acknowledge. Without another word, Iger's image flickers and fades from Monica's community. Sorry about that. Iger can be inflexible. The legacy of a long military career, but she knows what she's doing and she means well. It's a legitimate concern. She hardly knows me. As long as she follows orders, she can think what she wants. Uh, no sweat. Yeah. Good man. Iger's skills and, ex and experience are invaluable to the scene. It would be good to have her on your side. Okay, enough chatter. Let's get this done. Monica turns to the doors. Fingers poised on the control of the cyberdeck. Then glances 
back with the grand seal on the other side. Then she punches it, projecting her consciousness into cyberspace, her fingers harmonizing in the smooth, rhythmic staccato that only an expert decker can achieve. All right, here it goes. Oh! Without warning, Gamma Monica's back arches violently and her head jerks back, silencing her terrible screams. Muscle spasm ripple through her face and her jaw snaps shut, sending a mist of blood sprain from between her teeth. You look down to see a nub of pink flesh on the floor, the tip of her tongue. Shit. The room explodes in action. Glory leaps towards Monica, her hand outstretched to yark. Yank the cord from her data jack. Dietrich surges forward to wrap the team's fallen decker in a bear hug, holding her against the convulsions that rack her body. With Monica's unearthly scream still ringing sharply in your head, you are the only you are only dimly aware of the door slamming shut behind you. Three holds Monica's strength. You grab her head in both hands, hold the egg. The glory wraps with summoning her hands, hand around the cord, leading to Monica's hand and prize free. The commanding sense of charred meat and ozone fill the air. You've seen the effect of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Oh, shit. Suddenly, Monica's eyes flood. Oh, God damn, that is some creepy ass shit. That is some creepy ass looking shit. Suddenly, Monica's eyes flutter open. Muscles tremors continue to distort her face, and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscles of the jaws tensing and the look of concentration in her eyes. She's struggling to speak. Just stay with us, Monica, okay? We're going to get you out of here. Rather than see what you can do. Save your breath. Gloria's voice is strained. She's had a stroke. A bad one. She'll be dead before we're even back to the van. Wow, she had a stroke. I know what I'm going to do. Dietrich leans in close, his nose hovering inches away from Monica's voice is soft, almost a whisper. Lip chin, it's Dietrich. Tell me, what did this to you? Slowly, painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. The blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out of the slick covered, covering her chest. She expels a thick little sound that might be a word. It's satisfied. She closes her eyes and forces her mouth to make the shape she needs. Fear. With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze and something else. Hope. For Schwingy. Whoa. A sudden spasm jerks Monica's head back again. She grunts, then her chin drops her chest and her head lulls to one side. Her eyes fix on an object in the next room, a computer terminal. The soft light of a cursor blinks on and in its recessed screen. Slowly, she attempts to speak again, but the only sound that emerges is a long strangled croak. A look of resignation washes over Monica's face as she stops fighting. Her gore slick jaw goes slack and she dies. Holy shit. Keep the team alive. Holy shit. Alright. Let's get up close and personal here. Damn it, I wish I still had the... Uh This is gonna be tough. Let me see if I could do it from here. I'm in a pretty decent disadvantage. Yeah. Shit, I forgot all about this guy. What do you mean, no wounds to heal? Oh, shit. Forgot about that. Alright. Get behind the boy. Oof, God. Mm, shit. Not good. Hey, is he, if he's able to hit me, I should be able to hit her. There we go. Oh, with the nailed. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Let's get this guy. 
guy. Really? All right, how about that? Wow, okay. Oh, out of sight, huh? Mm, cool, let's go here. You idiot. I'll put you over here. Oh, the sound of it is just ridiculous. Wow, way to miss that one. I'm gonna try to meet him on the other side. There we go. Activate the terminal. There's nothing else here. Huh. Okay, let's go activate the terminal then. MC POS building, maintenance software, blah blah blah. Regan, 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 Regan. <laughs> These are scans in there. They've sealed the door behind us. We got to find another way out of here. What are you doing? I think Monica may have inserted a bug into the center before she died. What? Well, what's it for? Something tells me we're going to have more company soon. I don't know yet. Watch my back while I figure this out. Texting history on the terminal. A problem had been detected with a core component of MCPOS. The factory settings. Warning: Restore files will take several minutes. To execute. Connected doors and first will be the same one complete. All right, perfect. Let's go. I'm assuming so this is going to take a while. You glance down at a second screen to see that the facility is on high alert. In a place, in place of a simple data vault, it seems you stumble upon some kind of m massive underground complex. A map of the whole vast ground indicates that security forces are en route from the multiple angles. The doors currently being rebooted. The system's restore process are flashing a dull red. If you're reading this display correctly, the only exit from this room is to hold fast. Old servant's entrance on the western side of the building. At the moment, Eager's image wings into the column of the crisis, and the image is grainy, flickering in and out. What's going on down there, rookie? Tell me. When it goes down again, the vault was a setup. New extraction point. Hold up, what's what? Now we have to get out here. Look for an old down. We've been exiting via an old service. I need you to keep that exit clear. But when she finally responds, her toes professional. Roger actually cuts out without another word. Chloe turns to you, her movement smooth and robotic her voice comes out in a frosty monotone. What's the play, Regan? We hold ten I say we kill every dragon into his room and tell them to have the way to open the doors, but it's gonna take some time. Do pain expression lines a bit. Of course she did. Thanks sir, we might get out of here alive now. Let's find some cover way for the door to lock so disarm when the door locks disarm we make a break for until then we make them pay for Monica. Mask of hand this hand begin to glow with primal energy. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> All right, let's get everybody reloaded. All right, perfect. All right, let's go here too. How come I can't use this? It sucks. It's like my go to. Alright. Let's heal up also. There they come. It's in right there. Oh no, let's get this guy at least into cover. I'll put him over here. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright. Oh shit. 
Oh boy. Yeah, sure. Oh man. It's not gonna end well. get this reload in just to give him an extra round at least because if not I'm gonna be paying for oh Jesus there it is oh boy I need to get the fuck out of there oh boy this is not gonna end well not gonna end well Yeah. God damn it. All right. Damage. Oh, they're running. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Alright. So, I don't have any health, so that's not going to do me any good. Let's see what can I hit these fuckers with. There we go. Scare him off a little bit. Except for that guy. That guy. Oh god. Holy shit. The figure loping lopping towards you is big even for an orc. The majority of his body is sheathed in a suit of heavy overlapping plates. What you could what you can see if his face looks raw and slick, he like old scar tissue stretched tight over his skull. He wears an expression of like, supreme confidence. All right, friends, playtime's over. All you Shadowrunners are the same. Skull King sneaking. Steal a vase or two from the museum. No harm. Maybe I'll let you scamper away for, into the night. But now it's too late for that sort of generosity. Visitors aren't welcome down here. The gaping mall, the mini gun jerks upward. An, imp an impatient gesture loaded with malice. Drop your weapons and surrender. That's military grade armor he's wearing, Regan. Hardened against small arms fire, we'll have the tough time getting through it. I'm less concerned about the armor than I am about that minigun. Those things can tear a man in half. You have three seconds before I open the hose. Step out here and surrender, and I promise I'll make this easy. Something tells me we're gonna, you're gonna kill us either way. True, I can't deny it, but wouldn't it be easier if you didn't fight back? The orc shrugs and you hear the distinctive whirl of his vindicator's motor spinning up to speed. The barrels begin to blur as he wheels weapons to face you. Oh, shit. I mean, is this supposed to mean that he's going to kill us? Is that what, like, am I supposed to die? Maybe? Man, oh man. This is not gonna end well. Oh shit. Dude, that guy. That guy is gonna rip us in half. Oh my god. That's not gonna end well. Oh man. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Oh boy. What the hell is this? Aim, increase the target chance you hit by 20%. Oh 
This is a good idea. Oh, Jesus. Damn, that's a lot of guys, man. A lot of fucking guys. Holy shit. I mean, heal me, bitch. Holy shit. Oh man, this guy's dead. That's the right. Oh, forget about it. Oh, and it blocked. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. Survive for one turn. How does he miss that? I don't even have my... Survive for one turn. Holy shit. Oh my god. It was the other fucking way. Unbelievable. Ugh, you stupid, stupid, stupid man. Alright, let's see if I can get the fuck out of here. Oh, God. It's like everything, every sound hurts. God damn. What do I have left? I have shit left. I have a piece of shit left. Oh god. This guy, this guy's dead for sure. Oh my god. Oh, you can't are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh boy. This guy's gonna tear me apart. Holy shit. Oh, you fucking guy, bro. You fucking idiot. No, oh, this guy's gonna fucking lit me light me up. Oh boy. Oh, perfect. Yeah, fuck this, bro. Ugh, oh, I might not even make it. Ugh, oh, yeah. Ugh, I'm so dead. God damn it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's try that again. Damn it, man. So at least I know where the door is now. Sometimes with these games, it's kind of hard to tell, man. All 
All right, let's go for it. That's a big freaking vault, Lipchin. Oh god, I have to go through this again. Let's just go with I agree with Treasure. Some of these are trash. Just go back to that part, man. Dude, you got fucked up. Oof. Alright, we already read through all this. This is... All right, I guess now it's just time to play. I gotta play a little bit more defensive, for sure. Well, fuck it, let's do a little bit more offense then. All right, I missed with the, wait, wait, what? Oh man, I, I was kind of hoping that they were full. We got this fucker doesn't have any fucking... Get this fucker his fucking med kit. Nope, save right back here, you fucking idiot. At least this chick could take some damage. Are, are you fucking kidding me? Actually, let's switch that up. Wow. Oof. Let's go right here up front, bro. I'm gonna shoot you right from the front. There we go. Yeah, let's go. Scratch him up. Are you kidding me, lady? I mean, come on. Let's, yeah, for real. Alright, activate the terminal. Regan, Regan. I remember this part already. Oh, so I gotta pick Regan. Yeah, I gotta end my turn. All right, there we go. Reload. Alright. Everybody's good. Let's see what this guy's up to. Let them come. Let them come. Survive eight turns. Jesus Christ. Let them get there. There it is. Yeesh. Why are they targeting her? God damn. Oh, well, at least I got one of them. Oh, that's nice. I 
Yeah, this girl's just getting fucking bullied. Oh. They're not attacking me at all. What? I'm gonna go over here. Let them come over here. We just have to survive. How? How does that guy get me? This fucker. There we go. There we go. I never know. I might be able to get a good lucky hit. Oof. No lucky hit here. God damn, guy. Bro, these guys can hit everything. Every hit these guys just hit. Oh my god. This fucking guy. Let's get that reload going. Let's see, you're here, right? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, look at that. Got an achievement for that, wow. God damn. These bastards. Wow, bro. Dude, this guy... This guy just ran around a bunch. Um, oh shit, an, eight, an actual move. God damn it. Alright, I thought she was down. God damn. Oh my god. There we go. Perfect. You see how much easier that is? Kinda lucky in that regard. Oh my god, I could do three moves? Finally. Oh well, three moves because I did the spell. I guess that's the way it works. Alright. We just need to book it now, man. Yeah, fuck these guys, bro. How much is that? Oof.
Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Need to get myself something to drink. Restroom, you know, the whole deal. So let's go back to it. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue this bad boy. Oops, sorry. Got through the full screen. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Appreciate it. Fuck, it's getting cold up in here. I don't think I need to use the G-Force experience for any of this shit. A lot of reading. Alright. Looks like we're, um... We're at a safe house, probably. I can't go that way. Berlin. Destroy all humans on the wall. Wow. That's reassuring. Alright, climb up. <coughs> this is probably the safe... Yeah, this is their safe house, most likely. And Paul Amsel. You step inside in the squalor of the dis disused Yuban Yuban tunnel gives way to the warmth of your safe house. A man waits out inside, silhouetted against the dim fluorescent lighting. Something bad has happened, hasn't it? He steps forward, revealing a pale and expressionless face, light glinting off of steel rimmed glasses. Paul Amsel, your team's fixer and landlord, part part deal maker, part information broker, one of the most well connected men in Berlin. His eyes sweep across the team. As he takes it all in, the grim faces, the heart stares, Iger's fear, Monica's absence. I had a feeling, how did she? Her, his fan is gone ashen, he swallows, takes a moment to chew on the words before spitting them out. How did it happen? Uh, it was too... Something in the vault security system got her while she was jacked in. It was over in an instant. The run was on a set. The run was set. One minute she was cracking the safe, the next she was on the ground screaming. I see Monica hit black I see before this. This was something worse. Chloe nods, her emotions robotic and spare. Monica died of a biofeedback induced stroke. Oh, right. That's right. Eager thrusts a glove finger into your chest, and this idiot stood by and let it happen. That's bullshit, Eager. You weren't even in the room. Shove her hand up, poke me again. You know, let it happen. She let it happen? She jacked in, she screamed, and she seized. By the time we saw, she wasn't sure it was already too late. Yeah, because you never bother learning what to look for. Muscle contractions and micro tremors are good in the case of a decker in distress. I'm assuming you didn't have anyone keeping an eye out for those. No, if you had, my friend wouldn't be lying dead in a basement. Oh, shove off, Iger. We were all on the lookout for physical security, Regan included. Throwing him under the bus isn't going to help anything. Under a bus is exactly where he belongs. Iger turns to face Dietrich. She towers over him, but he stands his ground. I respect you, Dietrich, you know that, but you don't have my training. None of you have. Bro, this guy is, this chick is really full of shit already. Monica was good, she was the best, right? But she was also overconfident. She treated her job like it was a game. Do that long enough and you're going to get burned. Iger turns her focus back to you. If you'd been paying attention, you'd have figured all this out on your own by now. You'd known that Monica needed watching as much as that door. Enough, Iger. Amsel's voice is hoarse, his expression blank. Enough. Eager pushes ahead, heedless of the interruption. Her voice remains measured, but there's a fire in hit her eyes. How many seconds pass between Monica's first convulsion and her plug getting pulled? Four or five? Do you know how much damage biofeedback can do to a Decker's brain in five seconds? How dare you? You don't have to answer that. Of course you know. Monica died while you stood there and watched. This is all your fucking fault. That is enough. Amsel voice comes out and roaring. His fist smashes down. Thus be him. Eager, you and we can have it out later, but I've had enough. We need to talk action. Our client sent you into something much bigger than he led us to believe. I want to know why. Right there with you. This was supposed to be a milk run. Payback isn't the only reason why we need to find him. We saw something back there. Something that we weren't supposed to see. It's fair to assume that we're still in danger. Oh, shit. He paused, rubs his temple. Agreed. And to neutralize that, that danger, we need to know who we are dealing with. Let us review the events of the transport night. The smallest you think will be important, so hold nothing back. The estate was just a front, whatever was going on in the basement. If the reason went to hell, we were confronted by an orc by, in military grade armor. Lived long enough to say a name. 
the fire wing this is unexpected you have to forgive me this brings back many unpleasant memories the fire wing The most terrible of the great dragons. There are those who would disagree, but they never experienced the terror of living in her shadow. He glances at glory. You are t far too young to remember her, of course, but for Germans of my generation, the name Farschwein is synonym with chaos, destruction, and death. The dragons of today are subtle creatures full of patience and guile. guile. Fear Farschwein <laughs> was not so high right now. After awakening, she went on, to f on a four-month rampage and claimed tens of thousands of lives. As I'll take a deep breath, slowly releases re it. Those were dark days. Countless men, women, and children were slaughtered, roasted alive in their homes by a creature of legend. No hope for salvation, no end in sight. It was a horror that you cannot begin to understand. What well, stopped her? I can't imagine that a rampaging dragon would just go away on its own. Eventually, the fire wing was brought down by a man named Dr. Adrian Valclair, well, with the help of the Luftwaffe, of course, but it was an experimental weapons designed by Dr. Valclair that finally pierced her hide. She fell in a hail of bullets and rocket fire and crashed down in a radioactive wasteland of the Sox. The event was called the Dragon Fall. Safe at last from the Dragon's Rap, Germany celebrated Valclair as a hero, our own Siegfried, a modern day dragon slayer, my own family practically worshipped the man. If the Dragonfall was as important an event as you make it out to be, I'm surprised I've never heard of it. Those early years of the Awakening were traumatic, I agree, not just on a national level, but on a global scale. New species of awakened animals were being discovered daily. Within two years of the Dragonfall, the active use of magic had returned to the world, a new source of terror for a bewildered public, and in 2021, the sudden emergence of orcs and trolls gave rise to yet another wave of global panic. In light of such turmoil, is it any surprise that Dr. Volclair and Firewing were forgotten? Dragons were yesterday's news. He rubs his temples. Again, all of this happened decades ago. To the best of my knowledge, the story of Firewing is a bit of historical trivia. <sighs> and nothing more. Alright, so Monica spent her dying breath to tell us about a long dead dragon. Edgar sweeps her eyes across the group, searching for a glimmer of insight. Finally, she gives up. Any ideas to why? As her voice trembles with frustration, I feel they have the body. I mean, my opinion, they have the body of the dragon. No, it doesn't make any sense to me than it does to you. The Dragonfall is ancient history. Firewind had been dead and gone for 42 years, but there's one thing that I do know. Whatever Monica saw, whatever she was trying to tell us, it was important. He visibly struggles to calm himself, so takes a deep breath, and releases it. I will look into this and I will find answers. In the meantime, do you, did you turn on anything else of value? He appeared to be the head of security. That is not much to go on. Do any details about this work come to mind? Any distinguishing feature I could look into? He was an older guy for one. From the sound of his voice, I'm going to mid to late 40s, pretty old for an orc. And he'd had skin grafts. Most of his face looked like replacement materials. If the grafts came from a legitimate hospital, there may be medical records. That is something I want to see when I find out. Did you value anything else? You say. With a minor enterprise, either the facility took serious funds to build and this time there was more to it than we saw places like that don't spring up overnight and in secret the owners wherever they may be were none too pleased by your escape i'm sure what else did you find that's all we've got that's not much hamsel nods his face drawn to hand it's a thin it's it is thin i agree a basement a middle-aged orc with skin grabs and a long forgotten world event wait we're still missing something we paid for this run you haven't said a thing about our client yet pal you're holding out on us whoever sent us new will we're walking into who paid for this run and so looks pain I do not know his exact identity I did not set up the run Monica did her face his face right I warned her not to I told her not to take her up but she assured me it would be a cake walk huh. was that Monica was a little little deep in this shit oh what the hell okay I see Alright, back to it. Monica was approached recently by a man who calls himself Green Winters. He's said to be a prominent activist in the F state political scene. I never trust never much liked the man, I certainly never trusted him. Monica but Monica she would do anything for her cause, anything for the flux state. He signs. Winter swore that the data he was after was crucial to ensure the future stability of the flux. And that was all it took. We need to track down Monica's client and press him for information. It sounds like Green Winters are best lead dead. 
Yes, well, it's clearly been it. It's well, it's, uh, when he finds out what happened on the run, he's probably going to wrap it. We need to chase him down before that happens. How do we find this guy? Any leads? There's a man here in the crowd. A trick name. Atkins. A little love. This man is all prepared. Man. I've done business with him from time to time. And do you think he would know something about Green Winters? When I discovered Monica's renewed association with Green Winters, I contacted Altair. One of the, his people has been keeping tabs on Winters. As I said, I did not trust the man. For good reason, we'll see him. I'll talk to others, see what he knows about Green Winters. Very well, tell him I sent you. I will do everything to take information. Ah, yay, karma. Oh, look at doggy. I mean, is that really even a dog at this point? All right, let's look at the karma. Got a lot to do, man. Let's see. First of all, my shotgun. Ugh. It's keeping me there. All right. Strength. I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing a little something different with everything. All right. Um, actually, I didn't want to do this, but I'm getting, I'm so out of it right now. Um, I'm actually gonna stream dominoes. It's probably gonna be a silent stream, um, just to prove how really good I am. And I, anybody who has a game on Xbox is more than welcome to try and challenge me. Um, you won't win. I'm too good at dominoes. Okay. So I'm gonna call it a day right here. Thank you so much, guys, for joining the stream. I do appreciate it. In a few minutes, I'll go ahead and stream Domino's. Thank you, guys.